Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen Kumi Trent. Today is Flower Friday, so we do flowers on Friday. And behind me you see my beautiful studio wall, one of mine, beautiful studio walls. Um, you see a lot of black and white florals. And today I decided to teach you how to do a, a white rose in acrylics, just like this. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we'll go over supplies. I have an eight by 10, very inexpensive canvas that I've prepped with um, black gesso. If you can buy them already black. Um. Okay, so we'll go over supplies. I have an eight by 10 uh, canvas that I gessoed with some black gesso. They come uh, already painted black too, if you wanna buy them that way. And the reason why, I'll explain it as we go, why I have black, I'll explain this later. Um, I have a disposable painter's palette. This is like those sheets that you can buy in any craft store or paint store, Hobby Lobby. I like the disposable ones because I go through a lot. I'll have just a few paint colors here. I have white. I have, um, I'm just using the cheap and expensive basics for now. Um, cadmium yellow hue. Then I have light olive green, hooker's green, raw umber, and white of course. And various paint brushes. Um, I like to find at least brushes. You can get them inexpensive at Michael's. They have like an angle to them or they're just flat. I like the flat ones. Um, this is probably like an inch wide, maybe an inch and a half wide. I like them that size. I like the flat ones. I don't use the round ones at all really. And when I paint, the, everyone has their own preference. Um, if you don't have the, in, the cheap, you can just use I guess you could use a paper plate with some saran or a tin foil and always I have on hand paper towels and two water jugs. So let's get started. This is pretty simple, very easy to do. I'll take one of my flat brushes and I'm going to start with the inside color of the rose. I'm going to make this green. I'm going to mix some that green with some white. It's going to be very light. Limey kind of green. I'll add a little raw umber to it. We're just going to start with this one. Maybe a little more raw umber. And we'll lower the screen. And I'm just going to put that, just lay it down in the middle like so. Another way I like to work is that I just constantly stick on thick paint. It's just kind of my thing. So we're going to stick that down first. Either you clean your brush or you can put it aside because you're going to use it again. Um, I'm going to grab another brush. Let's see, similar brush. It's a flat one like this, or I can use another angle brush. I think I'll use this angle brush. It's still a little wet because I cleaned it off, so I'm going to dab with the paper towel. Just dry that. Now I'm going to grab some of my white paint. And a little bit of the yellow. So it's like a cream color. I'm just going to do these strokes crisscrossing and I'm doing it on an angle and I'm flat like that crisscrossing I'm just building up still taking the white and building see how simple this is we're going to build this white rose in a few stages So this is the outer kind of petal layer. And grab some of that green and go in there too. Put some of that in there. Okay, now I'll clean that brush off. Now I'm gonna go in and grab this brush again. I'm gonna grab some of this green. I'm gonna grab some of the hooker's green and some of this raw umber. Now it's getting really thick on the brush, so I might want to wipe it off. Even though I like the thick paint, sometimes I want to wipe it off just to make the stems. So I'm just gonna go in and put a stem downward. I'm using it this way, holding it this way, going downward. And then for the leaves, I just push in, put out, pull it out. Pull it out like that. It's pretty simple. And you can go back in and Swirl it that way. 
You might need a few of these. And some coming from the stem. And then I'm going to put a branch off the stem here. Grab some of this green. I'm mixing up some more green with some raw umber. And putting another one up here. Getting some darker green again, some raw umber. That's how I build it. And grabbing some more of the raw umber, putting it on the stem again. So we're just playing with this, building up color on the leaves, just grabbing more paint so it's getting a little darker in some areas. This is a very loose, easy. See, I'm just keep putting that on there. Unlike watercolor, acrylic, you can paint light on top of dark, obviously, because he has the white on the black. <laughs> it's the complete opposite, watercolor. And I just keep going and I put the dark again and I go back on top of it. And I'll keep playing with until I get the, the value that I'm looking for. And it's pretty thick. And I'll just keep doing that. I feel like I want to put another one down here, another branch. A little bud could go there. I might do that. Or I might just keep that one simple rose. So I clean up that and I'll grab the same white paint over here that I had. And I'll put in a little bud. Grab some of that yellow. And that's some of that green. And we'll paint over that again. So we have a little bud there. I even might want to take some of this and mix it in here. See, and I'm going to get that lighter tone. I'm just playing around with the paint. Since you mix that yellow in here, it's very light. Grab some more of that yellow. We can put in the details in a bit. We're just throwing down the paint right now. This is the beginning stages of most of the paintings that I do. Just throw down paint and color. Composition is key. Still throwing paint down. Trying to get a feel for how dark and light I want it to be. All right. It's getting very thick on my brush, so I'm kind of twisting it, taking it off. Now, another trick is that I don't sit down and paint this. I'm standing up so I can see my painting better. You can put it on an easel. This is laying flat on a desk. So I, I think I'm going to go in and uh, I might go in now at this point, as I see as I'm drawing this and painting this. I'm not liking this area in here, but I'll take that in a minute. I'll take that out in a minute. What I want to do now is dry it um, so we can continue. Now you could either dry it, let it dry naturally at this point, and just put some saran over your palette so it stays wet, the paints don't dry up. Or you can go and do a blow dryer, which I use often, blow dry it, and then come back. Okay, so I dried it, you know, fairly dry. Now I'm taking a smaller brush, still kind of flat brush, but it's a smaller brush. It's pretty long and skinny, but I'm gonna start working on the details of the leaves, and then I'm gonna finish up the flower. So we'll take some of this dark hooker's green and some of that raw umber. Get it fairly dark. And I'm going to start putting in some vein lines. If that's not dark enough, I can just go in and grab some black. I have some black here. And we'll mix that in a little bit. So it's 
let's get it a little bit darker so you can see the veins better. Still mixing it up so it's very dark. Okay, there we go. So I'm just doing these loose veins. If this brush is too, it's starting out to be a little bit thick, I might go in and grab a skinnier brush, this little small brush. It has better control. Sometimes those brushes work out and sometimes they don't. It depends on the paint if it's getting too thick on it. So I'm just throwing in some veins on the leaves. And up in here, it's really simple. Small veins down here. That one I might least leave. So now that we have the veins, I'm going to go in and I don't know if I really want to put veins in here. I think I'm going to keep this leaf. I'm going to take this one out a little bit. So we're going to take the same brush, since it's nice and has small and has good control, and add in some of the darker tones under some of these stems. Grab some of the lighter tones. I'm going to clean that off. I was getting too much paint on there. Okay, I'm going to grab that light green, throw a little yellow in there, a little bit of the hocus green. And mixing in with that white paint we have. We're just going to get a lighter tone value. We're going to go in between those veins. You see that? So now that's going to really punch it up. You can get it even lighter if you want it to be even lighter on the edges. Don't worry if this looks sloppy now. We can, we're going to go back over that with black because we want this background to be black. We're not going to change that. We're just going to fix up these. So we're just filling in this in. If you have to go back in and get some more of that dark tone, you can do that. The, the trick to making it look somewhat more like a fine art, is not to have it so flat. That's why I have all these colors basically on top of each other. It's that simple. We just thickly don't painting it. Don't get so bogged down with, you know, looking the sim this exact same. You just, it's a feeling. You're just going in and you're throwing in paint, taking out paint. I might feel like those lines are too thick. I might add in some lighter color. I'm mixing up more color, see? Changing as I go. Even this one needs a shadow, like so. Then down here, the stem, I feel like that's not light enough. You can't see it. Over here too. Maybe that one's too bright. Again, you're just playing and you're going in between the veins and you're just filling that in. And then we have this other leaf under here. That's not gonna be a vein. Alright, so you get the point. You're getting in there. You're filling in. You just keep playing around. You want the, um, the light just hitting the tips of them in certain areas where you would see the light coming in on the flower and the leaves. I just keep filling that in. It's a little too bright. I might take that one out. Mm 
and just add some color on top of it and mix it in. Again, go back in and fix the veins. Add some darker tones because it's getting closer to the flower and you want it deeper. Maybe even almost black in here. Deep tone. See, now my palette's kind of looking all messy, isn't it? <laughs> well, that's okay. You're creating. There. All right, so once that's done, that's done, we are going to let that, we don't have to let it dry. We can go in and take um, another flat brush, take the black, and go around those edges that you're like, eh, I don't like them. I want to clean them up. See? And you can still paint on top of that. And just clean up those edges that you felt like looking kind of messy. And you didn't like them. See, I'm just going in and fixing that. It's looking a lot cleaner. Just clean that up. And if it like still wet and it wishes out the color into the paint, that's fine. That looks good too. So I'm just cleaning that up. Just a bit. And you kind of want to put it all around too because you, if you have it on a um, already pre-gessoed, it's going to be a different, uh, it's going to look, that's going to be matte and the black paint will not be matte. So I'm just going to clean this up and then we're going to come back. Okay, so once you finish all your leaves, I actually, while well, I was gone, I, I took out that leaf and I fixed it in here. I didn't like the way it was looking. If it's looking kind of like the way you want it, now we can go back and finish the rose part. So now we're going to grab the white paint. This one has a little blue. I had to change my palette because it was getting very messy with green. I'm going to grab this white paint. We're just going to make strokes. See how thick it is on that paintbrush? Just overlapping strokes like this. Twisting, turning. I might add a little touch of the raw umber and just keep going like this. Thick. I like to have the strokes go out like that and like that. Swivel. That part's the, this part's the easy part. Now you still feel like it's you can't really see the rose petal pieces. You might want to go back in and add that green again. See, I'm going after and adding that green. You can take some of that raw umber and mix it with that. It looks like a little brownish tone. Again, see? That's fine if it's like messy like that right now because we're going to paint over it again. <laughs> yep. Get another clean brush. Grab that paint. And we're going to really get it thick on there. Creating this thick rose. And then the little guy down here. Same thing. And just go like that. Simple strokes like that. And I like them thick. Not everybody likes it that way, but I do. So I think that's finished, and except for the middle part. Now we're going to grab a small little brush, grab some of this raw umber some yellow. Make like this golden color. I'm just going to do this little doe hippie. Just little dabs of paint in here. 
Throw in some of the darker tone, which is the raw umber itself. You can even throw in some of the yellow mixed with the raw umber so it's more golden yellow. Oh, it's still looking brown, so I'll clean my brush off. Grab the yellow. And then you have your pretty white rose. I mean, you can go back in. If you still feel like it's too blobby white, you can go back in and grab some of that even darker green. The green I had before, the... Uh, hookers. Again, throw some of that color in and then paint on it again. This is how I make the different tones come out in the rows. So it might seem counterintuitive doing this, but then you go and take another clean brush <laughs> and grab that white paint. That's how you see some people who have these thick. And you get in this tones. Underneath. And there you go. Simple as that. Pretty white rose. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell notifications button. I'm going back to like what I was originally trying to do which was to teach you all different things besides watercolor it was drawing and it was painting acrylics and you know maybe pencil stuff so um, I hope you enjoyed this on Floral Friday take care and have a great day